Hey guys, it's a beautiful Virginia day. Um, we just finished up the second day of the coin show. Um, it was pretty good. We found a few cool things. Uh, got to see the public come in. Um, and now we're just hanging out with uh, some family up here. So I hope you guys are having a great week. And I hope you guys enjoy our newest episode. Hey guys, just made it to the light box, but first I want to talk to you guys a little bit and thank you for everything that you guys have been doing lately. Uh, I'm just so honored and um, thrilled to be making content that you guys enjoy. Um, we plan on expanding this to doing a lot more and helping you guys on your journey in collecting or dealing. Uh, you guys have been uh, such an honor to hang out with every, every few days and talk about things and uh, I just can't thank you guys enough, but first let's talk about some coins today that we found at the Virginia show and uh, what we're going to talk a little bit about today also is expanding your knowledge and how important it is um, especially in the, in the numismatic space um, I realized that walking into a room uh, with any collectibles it's very important uh, for you as a, a dealer for you as someone that uh, is trying to make a little make some money and help out your customers um, and even with like, um, there's actually numismatic artwork and numismatic um, dishware, but there's also other things, you know, guitars, and there's a whole list of things in, in terms of the umbrella of collectibles. But the more knowledge that you know, the more successful you'll be. And, and kind of what, what happens with many things uh, is that you we start to talk about stuff and we start to, you know, people say we have great shows and do all these these things. Um, but it really all boils down at the end of the day of how successful you are at finding your, your customers coins that they need and also um, how you're innovating your knowledge as a dealer and as someone that uh, wants to be more successful and, and do more things for more people um, but let's let's skip that for a little bit and let's talk about this coin so I found this uh, 1907 uh, Drape, Drape Bust Half today um, at the show um, what I really do like about it is the toning, um, but I think that the reason why it has this more blue or artificial toning to it um, on the front and on the back is because there was some cleaning that happened to it, and when it circulated a lot as well, um, color will start to fill back in. So it's the color is different from a mint state coin um, compared to a, a circulated coin, but I think that this coin uh, has the eye appeal enough to uh, sit in someone's collection and I think it would pass at PCGS or NGC and um, when what we were talking about a few videos back is that when you have the right price uh, for a coin even in a slab that you're not really a fan of um, uh, it ends up you can end up you know crossing it over or offering it for cheaper to your customers just because it's not those two name brand PCGS or NGC uh, coins but I do think this coin is a coin that would straight grade at NGC or PCGS just because um, cleaning is typical and circulation is typical on these coins and they actually let a few of, the, a few of them pass and many of them pass just because um, of their time period and um, so that's something that you guys should know and understand uh, when submitting an older coin like this but um, I really do like the coin uh, probably my favorite coin of the day but let's jump into a few more and I've been trying to kind of, I'm going to try to point out a few things uh, per coin to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight. Uh, we bought this coin today. It's a 1973S Rattler um, Ike Dollar, 1973S, like I said. But, um, you know, it's just a common coin. Um, nothing too special about it. But I've been trying to up my uh, presence in terms of offering things that are more affordable and something that someone might, you know, 
want to support the channel with by like, oh, you know, I like a rattler a coin, but I don't want to pay, you know, Morgan dollar rattler prices. And so something like this, um, I think I, I, you know, I'm just testing the waters on and seeing uh, what people might enjoy with it. Um, but uh, when you have a cheap rattler, I, I always will try to pick those up. <clears throat> up next, I wanted to show you guys something that I learned a little bit today um, about about uh, overdates. So uh, this 1942 over one, um, as you can see, the one is kind of just a little bit, a little bit off to the uh, in front of the two here. But with 1942 uh, over one Ds, uh, what I what I learned is that you can actually have an overdate starting with the four. And, and actually go also on the one as well. And that's, I think, strictly um, only with the D, the Denver Mint. But with Philadelphia, you're going to have a more prominent one on there. So um, you can actually find a 42 over one, uh, over 41 over date uh, for the Denver Mint, and it'd be a lot less apparent. Um, but I want to buy one of those soon and show you guys because it's actually pretty interesting and can be a, a pretty decent money maker if you know what you're looking for because a lot of the 42 over uh, 41 Ds can be very faint but um, can still be recognized by PCGS or NGC just because those guys watch this stuff all the time and know exactly what to look for. Um, the coin's a little dark on both sides um, but price kind of came into the equation for this coin. Um, it was at an affordable price and I can actually pass this on to somebody else at an affordable price and uh, it's nothing uh, too crazy like PCGS or NGC skyrocketing prices at the moment but uh, you're seeing that little bit of darkness here as well on the coin which is a little bit uh, less appealing to it but like I said still a beautiful coin. Up next we're going to be showing you guys a beautiful 1893 uh, Morgan dollar. Um, and the thing that you're really going to look out for for AU50, XF45s, AU53s is that eye appeal. Is it popping off? You know, is it having that luster to it? As you can kind of see um, in the stars here, the luster is still kind of remaining to it. I'm not sure if this coin may or may not have been dipped, um, but it is an AU coin based on uh, the chatter in the fields, the circulation, the haziness to it. Also, you're kind of seeing the rubbing here all the way on the hairline rubbing on the face. Uh, when we kind of uh, do, do a little twirl of the coin here, you're seeing uh, lackluster on the face, lackluster in the fields as well. Um, and then when we flip the coin over, uh, we're seeing the same kind of effect. And we're also seeing, uh, you know, the high points are being rubbed here. Um, a lot of chatter, but I, I don't know. I think this coin uh, really has a shot at being a higher grade. Um, but I don't think there's a whole lot of room um, you know, there's not a whole lot of money that I think for a really good price jump until like an AU58. Um, so, just something I, I've been I've been trying to tell you guys and for you to watch out for. Um, even if it's a circulated coin, try to buy a more eye appealing coin. Um, there's those really dark toners, but there's also those really light toners. But sometimes when they're in the middle, it's a little bit uh, just something that is a little bit of an eyesore and a little bit harder to sell. Um, so I hope you guys learned a little bit from this coin. Um, it's a beautiful harder date right now. Um, I have wholesalers, like we talked about in the previous video, just lining up for this stuff, but sometimes it's just better to ask your customers first and see what they have to say about it. Up next, I wanted to show you guys this 1916D key date dime. Uh, they graded it AG. I think it's not an AG coin. I think it's a, uh, a fair two at max. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because um, there's no detail on the head and also you can see the uh, the wear kind of filling in the letters are very faint on uh, the obverse and I dropped the coin <laughs> but on the reverse as well you can kind of see it even worse it's filling in there's no you can see the one barely but there's barely any writing on this side of the coin um, I don't think this coin has been cleaned but Something you have to watch out for is people misconstrue a lot sometimes with fair ones um, and our fair twos and AG threes. Um, so keep your eye kind of sharp on these. Um, try to look up coin facts, uh, PCGS, true views. Um, they're going to show a lot of these off, um, but it will train your eye, give you guys some perspective. And so when someone offers you a coin, 
um, writes AG on it, that's something that you have to take into account. And we actually got it for an affordable enough price to where AG didn't matter. Um, but like I said, uh, the more you train your eye with this kind of stuff, uh, the more you'll be able to help others and make some money at it as well. So um, a beautiful coin and let me know what you guys think of this coin. Does it have a fair grade of a fair two or do you think it might have a shot at AG3? So just let me know. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys um, a few more key dates that we bought. Um, <clears throat> all circulated and what we were talking about with the dealer today is that he basically said um, and what I basically agree with him to say is that Everyone's been starting to, a lot of people have started to collect since the pandemic and um, so they're, they're filling in all their sets with BU coins and now they're moving more towards key dates like the 1895S. Um, what drew me to this coin is the very legible date which is really important because people like that stand out, pop out uh, date which is a little bit tougher sometimes because of the wear on a coin and how it uh, was circulated and a prominent mint mark on this, on this coin as well. Um, we're starting to see a little bit of a, of a rubbing here on the United States in the one, but I think that um, it has just enough detail to where it's not a problem, and there's no huge distracting marks. I'm not really a fan of this nick, but um, like I said, uh, the coin overall is a circulated coin, but it's something that is a filler for somebody else. And last but not least, we're going to show you guys one last coin. Uh, it's the same exact date. Uh, it was a little bit uh, of a better grade. You can kind of see the hair uh, filling in more here, apart from the other coin. Um, I think there's been a light cleaning on this coin. Um, and also, uh, I think, but the coin overall has better luster. I have to check this coin and see if it's an S over S. Sometimes it gives a little bit of a boost to it, just because it has that marketing type of tactic to where uh, it's kind of a VAM top 100, something like that. Uh, we shared a few, uh, shared one a few uh, videos back, but overall, a uh, good hole filler, and also there's there's a demand out there for those S over S kind of uh, uh, people, the top 100 people, and and sometimes people just, you know, that that added perk to it almost makes a sale for people. So, um, but I wanted to thank you guys again for all that you guys do. Um, I really appreciate all the, the support on the videos and letting me show you guys these coins today. And remember, the more you know, um, the better you'll be off in terms of numismatics or any collectibles, but also um, just in life in general. I mean, there's a lot of mistakes made every single day based on the knack, lack of knowledge. And so what I say all the time is that the lack of knowledge leads to perishing or, or people that perish. Um, but uh, knowledge leads to abundance and um, I think that is uh, that holds true today um, for a lot of us. And I think there's a lot of smart people on this feed uh, watching our videos. And um, I'm just so excited about all the, everything that you guys are doing in terms of uh, progressing in your hobby or progressing in something that you find that you enjoy. So, but thank you guys again for letting me show you all these beautiful coins. So once again, guys, a whole bunch of neat finds today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really want to thank you guys again for all that you do. Um, it's really just a dream come true to help out and do uh, anything I can to uh, just shed some light on the coin community. Uh, just a whole bunch of great people. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we will catch you in the next one.